Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Cam and I'm in the middle of doing my collection series. My nails are looking a bit rough but we're not judging that because I would have had to paint them and they would have get ruined as soon as this video was over. So this drawer here has all of my lip pencils, bullet lipsticks, and lip glosses in it. Um, I'm gonna switch lips into two videos. Probably going to do lip lip liners and lipsticks in this video and lip glosses and liquid lips in the next video so we're probably not going to touch this in this video but let's just go ahead and get right on into it so i have just going to pull all of these lip liners out i also have a few just lip pencils that i have chilling in the corner over here and then I will also pull out these three items Oops. back here so first I'm just gonna talk about these because I know I'm getting rid of them I have the Smashbox Instamat I don't even know if this I don't think I've ever used it it's just I've had it for a while and I've never been inclined to use it so that's going away I have used this one a few times this is the makeup forever step one um, skin equalizer and I just never reach for it never use it so I'm getting rid of that too and this is also another Smashbox Instamat this was also part of a holiday collection and I it's just a little mini and I'm getting rid of it so, going through here, let's pull out like products. We have these three, I thought I had three. Okay, so I am obviously lip, missing lip products because I had three of these. And I'm also missing my MAC Bullet Lipstick. And I don't know where that is, and it's kind of scaring me because it's my favorite lipstick and I have no idea where it is. But these are the Buxom like, lip pencils. This one here is in the shade Undercover. So you get like a brush on one side and then like the pencil on the other side. And there's what that one looks like. It's a warm tone. And I like pulling these in for like a one and done. This one is in the shade Dolly Danger. And I just really, really like these. They're creamy. Um, I don't ever really end up using the brush for them. But I, I do like these and I do enjoy these and I use these. So I'm going to be keeping these. Another thing I'm knowing going to be keeping is the Too Faced Peach um, Puff Diffuse Matte Lip Color. And I have mine in the shade Stoked. It's on the bottom there. Here's what the applicator looks like. It's just, I love using this. It's like a barely bare wash of color. And I really, really enjoy this. Um, now let's pull out my ColourPop liners. And I have these four. I have... The lippy pencils, this first one here is in the shade BFF. I really like this one. I need to sharpen it, but it's a nude color. I have the shade O oh Snap, which again, really, really like this. These two, I really enjoy as well. These are from the Bretman Rock collection. We have the shades... Oh, I don't know if these are... So this one is in BFF3. I really love this for dark brown looks. It's dirty. I really love this one. This one, however, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I'm going to keep it just because I want to. Um, my Milani lip liner is not going anywhere. really like this one. Um, so I'm going to group all of my reds together and swatch them against each other. This lipstick from Bite, I, have, I think this is in the shade Glace. And it's just like a very beautiful color and I really do enjoy this one and I've used quite a bit of it. I don't know if you can see it in there, but I've used, well, I guess if I, that's all I have left of it. So I'm just going to try and use it up. So I really like this. So I'm going to be keeping that. Um... Mm 
Okay, so this one here is from Huda Beauty in the shade Vixen. I got this in a set, and I love this color. I guess it's kind of similar to the Bretman Rock one. So I'm going to keep this one from Huda Beauty, and I'm going to get rid of the shade Dukes from Bretman Rock. I think that's the shade. Yeah, they're really similar, so I'm going to get rid of Dukes from Bretman Rock, and I'm going to keep my Huda Beauty. And now I have these four shades. This first one here is Bite Beauty in the shade 78, which is that red. I don't really care for this formula. I have my MAC pencil liner. This one's in the shade Cherry. I got this in a like holiday set. And then I also have the KKW Beauty in the shade Red 3. These you got to be careful with because they'll break and fall out. These reds are truly similar. However, the KKW is more of a blue red. So I think I'm going to keep my MAC in KKW Beauty. And I'm going to get rid of the Bite Beauty one. So more of like I've got this... This run, I've got it from AOA uh, Beauty. It's a dollar. It's in the shade Burgundy. It's a pretty color. However, I don't reach for these type of colors and I don't want it. So I'm getting rid of that one. Realistically, I haven't reached for it. This one is from Sephora Collection and it's in the shade 13 Wino. And I think this color is very gorgeous. So I'm going to be keeping that one. Then I've got all of these nudes. I'm going to be getting rid of this one as well. This is the Bite Beauty 32 lip liner. I like it enough. I just never reach for the Bite liner. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. This liner here is one of my favorite liners. It is from Makeup Forever. And it's in the shade Wherever Walnut. And it is just gorgeous. I really, really love this lip color. This is another Ulta Beauty one. I'm going to be getting rid of this one. The color just doesn't appeal to me. Oh, and I broke the cap. Lovely. So I've also got another Huda Beauty liner. And this one you can tell I really, really like. I have this one. This was from a BoxyCharm. Feels really creamy. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And I've got this KKW liner. That one's really neat. But I think I'm going to keep the rest of these so i probably just sp sped through all of that i probably wasn't intending to do that but i did a lot of washing and stuff so i'm keeping all of these and i'm going to be decluttering these which doesn't seem like a total terribly lot but it's five i got rid of five okay now moving on to my bullet lipsticks okay i'm going to be truly truly honest with myself i do not ever 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 reach for these minis so i'm gonna look at them assess the color see how much i like it and if i truly adore the color i will keep it if not it is going bye bye okay first off for sure thing i'm getting rid of these three now i'm gonna see if there's a color that matches close enough to these my collection and if so I will get rid of these but for starters I'm getting rid of these three okay so the way I have this situated is I have my reds back here and my red and my burgundies back here in this corner because I don't have them a total lot of them okay so these two are quite similar they're right here granted okay so these two are quite similar this one here is the bite beauty mini and this one here is the Anastasia mini the Anastasia is just a wee bit deeper and a bit cooler than the Bite Beauty one, so I'm definitely getting rid of that one. Ooh, my MAC Red. Compared to the Bare Minerals Red. I just... I like this Bare Minerals Red, so I know I want to keep that one because I really, really like it. And I'm going to keep this red because they are different. This is my only Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, and it's in the shade Boned Girl, which I have worn this quite a lot. So I will keep that one. 
Okay, now these two shades are very similar. They are the Lucky Strike from ColourPop and the Rosewood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's just give you a little quick swoop roomy. So they are very similar. The Anastasia one is a bit deeper. I don't know if I want to keep both of them though. Oh, I know I like my two Juvia's Place ones, so I'm going to be keeping those. All of my Huda Beauty ones. So I ended up keeping 29 lipsticks. However, I do have the MAC Salt Life lipstick somewhere. I am covered. So that would make 30, but I did get rid of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. 15. So I did get rid of 15. So that is one third of my collection. So I'm happy to have freed up that. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of fast forwarding during this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my glosses. I'm not going to swatch any of these because I know what I like and what I don't like. So for a plumping gloss, this is like liquid gold. This is the Hard Candy Max Pout Lip Gloss. Ooh, it stings, but it's gorgeous. I am not getting rid of any of my Fenty Beauty lip glosses, so I'm just going to pull all of those out. I do really like this. This is the L'Oreal, um, uh, what is this? This is the Sparkling Rose it's just like a lip gloss, but in like a tube, if that makes sense. It's a pigmented lip gloss. So I do really enjoy that. This is one of the things that I've bought in the last um, nine months. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Really, really like this. Um, my Marc Jacobs glosses. I adore these, and you can see how much I use them. Like, you can see, like, the stuff on the side. All right, now these... Oh goodness, are both from Bare Minerals, and I've used this one quite a lot, but they're the same shade, so I'm going to get rid of this little bitty one, and I'm going to keep the big one. I have three Buxom glosses. I'm going to keep all three of them because they're plumping glosses, and I like them. going to be getting rid of this Buxom one because, like, it's just weird. And, like, the spatula on it, and it shines blue, and I just... I'm never going to wear this, so getting rid of that. I have my Ofra and Samantha March Millie um, gloss, so I'm going to be keeping that. My only, like, solid clear gloss, so I'm going to be keeping this. This is another plumping lip gloss, so I really, really do like this. I'm going to be getting rid of this gloss, though. This is the So Juicy from ColourPop. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like the applicator. I normally always make a mess, and I would use this before applying like, I use a plumping gloss before, but I'm keeping other ones, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, I have one Olimar Cosmetics, one Iconic London, and one Dominique Cosmetics. Um, I'm going to be getting rid, rid of this one. It's a plumping gloss. I just like my others better, and I'm going to be keeping all three of these. And then I also have two from Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I have mini clear glosses with shimmer in it. I have the Millie one from Ofra. I have the Fenty Beauty one. I have a different Fenty Beauty one. This one's got like purple flecks in it. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one and I will be keeping this pink one because like granted I do have some pinks. I just want to keep this one and it's different than the two that I have. So I'm going to be keeping that one. So I got rid of five glosses. So I'm happy with that. This one became more of a declutter than the other ones that I've posted, but I'm all right with that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and give it a like and subscribe if you like me. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.